if you've played the Pac-Man game before, you'll know that Pac-Man's famous for eating everything on the screen. So we're going to make a bit of an animation now where he's going to be open and closing his mouth. So the starting point for that is, um, is first of all, adding a second costume uh, to Pac-Man, one where his mouth is open. So we've already got one where his mouth is closed. Now we're going to make the same thing again where his mouth is open. Um, so to do that, first of all, I'm going to make sure the sprite is selected, and I'm going to choose the Costumes tab from the top middle section. I'm then going to choose Copy, so that I've now got two costumes, and on Costume 2, I'm going to Edit. Now, I don't need to make any major changes to Pac-Man. Um, I just need to open his mouth. So to do that, I'm going to take the Eraser tool, and I'm just going to rub out a section which his mouth is going to be and using the paintbrush tool I can paint in around the edge of his mouth like so and again if you want to just finish it off I always like to put in another line like so uh, and then I'm going to fill using a different colour maybe like an orangey colour inside his mouth so it looks now like he's opened his mouth and it's keeping that 3D look for Pac-Man by clicking on OK, you can see I've now got a version of Pac-Man with his mouth closed and then a version of his mouth open. Now to actually animate it, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of code. So to do that, I'm going to go to the Scripts tab and I'm going to start out by saying when the green flag is clicked, so when the game has started, I want to flick between the two costumes. So if you look in the looks tab, you can see you've got an option to go to the next costume. When I run the game now, what you'll find is he'll move to the next costume. So if his mouth is open, it will close his mouth. And if his mouth is closed, it will open his mouth, but he won't keep doing it. So um, this is where I need to tell the computer that while the game is playing, I want this to keep happening. So I'm going to use something called a forever loop. So by putting the next costume in the forever loop, like so, now I'm, it's going to allow me to just keep opening and closing his mouth, like so. Now obviously, that's far too fast at the minute, so I need to put another instruction in. And if I go and look in the control section, you can see that there's an option to wait. Now, wait one second might be too long, um, so really it's up to you to change that and decide how long you want to wait before you move on to the next costume, like so. So now, when I start the game, you'll see that he uh, will keep opening and closing his mouth. Press stop like so.